I, I mean, normally I just kind of laugh this off. I mean, Robert Streb is playing pretty well, though. It, it is kind of all putter based. I mean, Robert Streb, when he won here last year, and this is the second time he won this event. So, uh, you know, a pretty good win player. Again, another player who plays classic course as well. Uh, he nearly won at the Greenbrier, another sort of shortish classic setup uh, earlier in his career as well. But he's really just riding a hot putter right now. He's gained over 2.5 strokes putting in each of his last three starts. So I think you're getting just, you know, in deflated odds is what I guess you'd say, you know, that that sentiment, you know, they're looking at his course history and they say, oh, well, he's, he's putting well, he's playing well too. I just don't really trust that Robert Strabble plus 7,000 is going to be able to do it again. Again, this is a wide open event. The, the course brings in a ton of different styles. So I think if you're, if you're really interested in a player at higher odds, you go down further, you go down to a guy like Luke List. Adam Hadwin at plus 10,000 is really interesting. That's another player you can get really hot with the putter. Even go even down even further. I mean, you've got guys like, you know, Cam Davis has won earlier in the year on tour at plus 13,000. So Zach Johnson, another veteran player, plus 13,000 could easily get hot here. So Robert Streb, just, just too short for me. He's playing well, so, um, you know, I, I get why the odds have gone down a little bit over what they probably should be, but I, I just don't trust that he's going to put, like, a fourth good putting week in a row in here.